What's up everyone? Welcome to my 24th PHP tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be finally making a PHP file to connect to my SQL. So before we even get started right in our uh, PHP script and notepad, go ahead and add your user, Bucky, or whatever you called it, to the database game. So go ahead and click add, give it all privileges, and make changes. What this is going to allow is the user Bucky to alter the database game. So go back and now we're, as you can see the database now has the user Bucky in it. So let's go ahead and minimize this and open up notepad. I already got it open so um, before we get started I'm going to tell you guys that you're going to need some information that you should have had written down your user to the database your password to the database mine was password and your database name now once you have all that you can finally start making your connection file so let's get started let me make sure my cursor is in the right place there we go so go ahead and put your PHP uh, outline tags now I'm going to go ahead and save this as a PHP file right now. Save as a connection file and save it as a PHP. Make sure it's on my desktop and we are good to go. So now it's saved as a PHP. Let's go ahead and start connecting. The first thing that we're going to want to do is open a connection between this website and MySQL. So to do that, we need um, we need to make a variable that's going to have the MySQL connect. So let's go ahead and type a comment real quick and write opens connection to MySQL server. Now, if you don't know what this means. Um, it's just a comment and it has no effect on the coding at all. You can actually write whatever you want here and it's not going to matter at all. But for the sake of not forgetting and organizing, especially when you're working with these, it's uh, helpful to add comments whenever you need them. So let's go ahead and make a variable called DBC. And this is going to be database connect. And you need a variable because it's easier and I'll show you why. Now what this variable, what this variable's value is going to be is a connection. So type in my SQL underscore connect. In this, I'm not making this up. You can't change this. This is built in to PHP to connect to your MySQL databases. So make sure you type that in exactly as I did. Now go ahead and add your parameters. And inside your parameters, you're going to have three values and they need to be in this order so pay attention your first value is going to be where your server is 99 percent of the time it's going to be a local host unless you're using a host that's different than your domain name which is just crazy so to always type in local host because it's right on your server the next piece of information is the username this is the username to your database, and mine is the new bow under slash Bucky. And make sure you have this typed in exactly as it is. And make sure these are in uh, single quotation marks too. And the last but not least is the password that you want. And mine is password. Don't tell anybody. I don't know who could figure that out. And I will be changing this after I upload it so no one tries to hack on my site. So now that we have a variable, anytime we call this variable, it's going to connect us to our database using as long. Here's what it's going to do. It's going to run through all these, make sure your username and password is correct. And then if it is, then it's going to connect you. So let's go ahead on the next line and make a simple if statement. Let's say if the variable database connect 
so what this is pretty much saying all right if the database isn't connected then what we're gonna want to do is kill it make it die and this just means end it it means end the script and we're gonna make it die and we're gonna want it to say not connected and if we want to get fancy we can also add my SQL error and add another empty parameter close it off uh, alright my parameters are good and also add your ending colon so right now we're gonna say alright connect to MySQL if it can't connect for some reason then end the script no use continuing and tell us why it's not gonna connect so now we have a basic connection to our server and in my next tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to connect to the database so right now it's going to connect but it's going to say alright what database do you want and that is for the next tutorial but right now I'm running out of time so study this make sure you write your variable make sure you connect and make sure that all of these are typed right how you want them and uh... Pay attention, and once you get this, move on to my next tutorial. Thanks for watching.